three. Time now for the NFL Today Chalk Talk, presented by K Jewelers. Last night, Robert Griffin III became the first player ever from Baylor to win the Heisman Trophy Award. RG3 threw 36 touches, rushed for nine more, leading the Bears to a 9-3 record, their best season in 25 years. And, folks, we are pleased to have the shining light joining us right here on the set. Welcome to the set, buddy. No All question. Right, congratulations. I, look, you've done some great things athletically, got the best award in college football, but I love the fact that the spotlight is on everything else you've done as a student athlete and a great role model. Where did all of this come from, that focus? Well, it comes from my parents, obviously, growing up in a military family. One thing that's going to be paramount is, is discipline. If you say you're going to do something, you do it, and my parents make sure I, st I stuck to that. Oh, so it wasn't a democratic household. No. Uh, <laughs> the dictatorship, no, no, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> Dad Good. cracked the whip and Mom made sure she licked our wounds. All right, congratulations on it. I know it's early yet, but you have to think about the NFL. Maybe what's your thoughts on coming out early? I mean, it, I'd, it, I'd be lying if I told you I, it hadn't crossed my mind, but um, the thing is I want to focus on what's in front of me right now, and that's being a Baylor Bear. Uh, we got a bowl game coming up with an opportunity to win 10 games for the first time in 20 years, so that's what I'm focusing on, and I'll talk awesome. to my parents and my coach uh, after the game. Well, you look at the NFL, Robert. Is there a favorite team you have or a favorite player that you would like to emulate that you watch? Oh, well, there's a lot of favorite players, but my favorite team growing up was actually uh, the Denver Broncos. Oh, so, uh, no uh, kidding. Oh, yeah. Hey, were you old enough to see Shannon play? Yes, I was. <laughs> I, want him, I want him to come out of retirement so I can throw it to him. <laughs> but uh, favorite players-wise, you know, Elway, of course, uh, watched him a lot. But, you know, my dad, a lot of his favorite players are, you know, Randall Cunningham, Warren Moon, guys like that who, you know, extended the play, uh, not necessarily always looking to run, but extended the play at the quarterback yeah. position. Hey, and before you know, Shannon asks a question, now take a look. This was in rehearsal now when Robert G3 threw <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, hey, be honest. Shannon actually got Freddie, our, our cameraman, he got his sweatshirt to take some of the sting off of that pass. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. Look at him. He's got, he's got great hands. Don't, don't get it wrong. Go ahead, Shannon. You throw the ball too hard. I want to ask you a question. Is, have anyone ever told you you look like Andre Benjamin from the uh, rap group Outkast? Oh, oh the Andre 3000? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have my... my um, our strength coach actually calls me Andre Three Stacks. So, <laughs> uh, and then Mike Rose from last night at the Heisman ceremony calls me Three Thousand. So, did you actually think you had a shot at this award when the season began? Um, you know, we always did. Um, we knew if we came out against TCU and made a statement, it would help us for the rest of the year. We did that. Obviously, we hit a rough patch there in the middle of the season, but finished five and zero. Created a lot of excitement, and that's why we were able to win the. How award. about the fact that, uh, and I have read about your background, that Baylor was the only school that recruited you that said you could play quarterback for them. That's actually not true. It's but, not true. Um, Coach Browse was one of the, the coaches that I felt I had a good relationship with. I had over 25 offers to play quarterback, but a lot of the top-tier programs, the LSUs, Oklahomas, uh, Texas, wanted me to play defensive back or wide receiver. So Coach Browse believing in me, um, you know, helped me believe in myself. A nice moment uh, on the Heisman Trophy Award last night when uh, they focused on your socks. Take a look. These are the Superman socks that he wore <laughs> last night at the Heisman Trophy Award. So let us know, what do you have on today? Push back and kick up the heels. All right. What do today, you have on today? Today we got the Elmo specials. <laughs> you can see those. All right. And, so. and why are you wearing these socks? What's the deal here? Well, it's actually my, my niece, Hope. It's her, one of her favorite uh, cartoon characters, so I decided to wear those for her. Talk about a true team player. Hey, look, Sergeants Robert and Jacqueline, I know they raised a great son, but check this out. The Superman socks you had on last night sold out everywhere they were on sale around the country, and on eBay, they're going for $400 a pair. Be like Dan Marino. Get that ink <laughs> up in the contract, all right? <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. JB, Thank you. Yeah. Thank did you, you. tell, hey, would you, would you tell the people at home, you asked Robert Griffith what was his dad's name? Yep. Well, I did. <laughs> you know, you know he's RG3. Hey, they can skip a generation. Damn, they're trying to get me. I'm too dark to blush, but that's a good thing. <laughs> hey, I when we can figure, Robert, thank you very much. Thank you, Continue guys. Continue success. When